G'day. Well, it's been a very interesting week in Parliament. Tens of thousands of women amassed at, right out front of Parliament House on Monday for the March for Justice. What a great moment that was. Uh, I went out uh, along with many of my Labor colleagues and, and actually a, a few people from the government, not many, no ministers. Uh, I went out there to listen to the incredible women who were speaking, uh, had some fantastic speeches. I hope the government members listen to what was actually said on that day. Um, the Family Law Inquiry tabled its report into the Family Law System on Monday. In fact, it was right while the women were rallying outside, so I had to run out. But uh, I'm a member of that committee and I spoke in Parliament about that report, that important report, and the 29 recommendations we've made to govern. I'm especially pleased that the committee unanimously concluded that false allegations of domestic violence and abuse are not widespread. I also spoke in Parliament about the Brisbane City Council's feasibility study announcement into duplicating the Walter Taylor Bridge and how they actually need to immediately fix some intersections that lead up to the bridge to improve that horrific traffic flow. Uh, I also spoke about traffic congestion in Moreton, in particular how there'll be more trucks if inland rail ends at Acacia Ridge, 37 kilometres from the Port of Brisbane. I also called on the government to come to Moreton to Coopers Plains to look at the Coopers Plains rail crossing proposal, which they've been promising to do since 2019. Spoke on a couple of other pieces of legislation, one about the government trying to weaken protections uh, for lending, you know, consumer protections uh, uh, legislation that they have to get right. Also spoke about childcare and called on the government to fix a problem that is occurring uh, whenever there's a lockdown. That's when families are forced to pay the gap fee for childcare, even when they've been told to stay home. I'll be in Morton over the weekend, but back to Canberra next week, uh, which is the last sitting week of Parliament before the budget is handed down in May. Cheers.